Welcome everyone. In order to download apps on the iPad 10th generation, we're going to be using the App Store. So let's open up the App Store. And from here, you just want to tap on the Today button. You're then going to tap on your profile on the top right hand side. So when I tap on this, it shows my account information. You can see my name and Apple ID. If it's asking you to sign in, then you must sign in with your Apple ID and password in order to download apps. If you don't have an Apple ID, I will have a tutorial on how to create a free Apple ID in the description. Uh, you must watch that then come back to this video. Once we have the Apple ID signed in, you have the categories for games, which will have a list of games and a list of apps as well. And if you want to search for both games and apps, you have the search button here. And then you can search up for whatever you would like. So let's say YouTube. I'm going to search up for YouTube. And then what you do is you just tap on Get. And then you will just need to enter in your Touch ID. Or in some cases, it will ask for the password. So I'll enter in my Touch ID. And now you can see the application of question, YouTube is installing into my iPad 10th generation. So the video isn't done just yet. For most people, you should see the app show up on the home screen, but in some cases the app will not show up on the home screen. So let's open up the settings app. From here, you're going to see home screen and multitasking. Tap on this and just make sure where it says newly downloaded apps, you've selected add to home screen and not app library only. If for whatever reason, an app downloaded to the app library and you want to move it to the home screen, just keep on sliding left, so to the left, until you're brought to this app library view and where the application is, long press, then drag and drop to the home screen and there you go, the app is back on the home screen. If you would like to remove an app from the home screen, but keep it installed on your iPad, long press on the app, there'll be an option to remove, which is not available because this app isn't installed. So I'm going to use this app instead. Now we have the remove. And you're just gonna select here, remove from home screen. When you do that, the app won't be on the home screen anymore but it will still be installed on your iPad. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you want to help support the channel and you use Amazon, if you buy anything using my Amazon affiliate link in the uh, description, I'll get a commission, which Amazon usually takes. Bye-bye.